nic nie rozumie po polsku, nic. Mogę tu gadać i gadać. Anyways, we're going to the Polish store. We're doing a Polish mukbang today and I'm gonna make him try like traditional Polish actual food, not like snacks. Okay, right, let's get some Polish bread. Okay, so first things first, Polish people can't live without bread, so that was a staple. Then we needed some Polish dill pickles, some pasztet, szprotki w sosie pomidorowym, paprikasz, kiełbasa, oscypek, you cannot forget about the pierogi. Then we also picked up some bigos, and of course, naturally, I picked up some Polish chocolates, because I can't live without those. And I saw uh, Danish with poppy seeds, so I decided to grab that too, because I got hungry. <laughs> And after all that, we headed home, we put everything on a nice display for you guys right there, and I started cooking. So I started off making the bigos first, because that was from a refrigerator, so it had to, you know, have some time to heat up. Also, I started working on the pierogi and starting fry and started to fry the kielbasa for the sandwiches and also started frying the bread and butter because like, why not? Diabetes, hello. I grated the ostipic cheese, then I dumped it on the heated piece of bread, and then I started to put kielbasa fried kielbasa on top of it to let it melt right after that i started cutting up some sliced pickles and also put ketchup on the kielbasa sandwiches put some pickles on it and also put sour cream on the plate for the pierogi i can i'm i went ahead and started to make the paprika sandwiches along with the sprats and tomato sauce sandwiches they're actually pretty healthy and good for you what do you know and then I started to plate everything else. I put the pierogi and the bigos on the plate. Yes, it's mine. And it was time to eat. Oh my god, you guys. So I just made him like a full-on Polish meal. So we got hair in my pierogi. We got pierogi, we got bigos, we got kanaki, aka sandwiches with kielbasa, cheese, and pickles. Then I'm gonna make him try paprikash and I'm gonna make him try szprotki and sosie pomidorowym. So yes, and tomato sauce. Okay. The one thing that I'm afraid <laughs> for right now... <laughs> Let me just show you guys real quick. What? The szprotki w sosie pomidorowym? You nie chcesz? So do I save that for the end? Let them wait? The sauce on that tastes pretty good. All right. Okay, I'm going for the pickle kielbasa and cheese sandwich. I actually used to have this for lunch every day when I was a kid growing up in Poland. It wasn't as fancy as this, but... You're going for that first. It looks... Okay, comment down below if the, you think that the pickle looks like an alligator skin. It does. <laughs> because I swear to God, it looks like a gator. Unless mm. I just spent way too much time in Florida. Definitely. And then I'm going to try this first. Whatever this is called. Papulipa. Oh, this is really good. Wow. This is really good. It's minced fish and tomato sauce. Try the bigos. I was trying to teach him like Polish words when we were going to the Polish store and he's just like, Kurwa nie. <laughs> 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 That's the first thing he says. So I was like, alright. <laughs> no, this is great. Mm. I could eat this every day. No question about it. So bigos is like sauerkraut. Mushrooms, kielbasa, you can put bacon in there, um, tomato sauce. Ooh, it tastes really good mixed with the beets. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm So, like, I got a few messages com and comments, and people were like, we want to see you guys eat real Polish food. Like, my friend actually texted me, he's like, where's the pierogi, where's the kielbasa, where's the kanapki? And I'm like, I, I, I don't think we could have done that in the car, so we had to actually, like, plan this whole thing out. And it's literally the day before Christmas Eve right now, and I'm supposed to be sprzątać dom, but I'm cooking that food instead. Yeah, this is so, this is so good. Like, yeah. So like, are you just gonna eat Polish food from now on only? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn Polish. Now I just have to convert him and get him to start going to Sunday mass with me, and it's all good. Do kościoła cholera jasna. I'm gonna eat the paprika. Now I I used to love this when I was a kid. The paprikash. That's that was actually me and my really cousins would eat this for breakfast every day. I'm very impressed with that. Mm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Why am I asking you what this is? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I love those. I hate the fact that I like it. You like it? Yeah. Oh my god. No, this is really good. What? Like, everything that comes from Poland is just better, period. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Come on, comment down below. We got the best woman, best food, best construction men. We have the most hardworking men. Like, we're just lit all around. It's okay, Italians are pretty lit too. 
No, but I wouldn't try this. I wouldn't try this like Italian wise. I had it American wise, and when my grandmother would make me try it, have it the Italian version, I wouldn't eat it because I was so scarred from the yeah, American because, version. Okay, so seriously, I'm sure you tried posca kielba posca kielbasa shopraito. So is that insult? Like you want posca kielbasa, you either go to posca, the country, or you go to Wellington but, or Garfield. But that's what I'm saying. You know, like I've, had, I've had all this food, Americanized versions, and mm -hmm. I hated it. Having the actual version of it is a whole different ballgame. So any anyone from America who's trying a foreign country's delicacy food, you go, have to to, go. go to the source. Exactly. Straight to the source, to the people. Like, American dill pickles. They're nasty. It's too vinegary. Yeah. Like, these are great. I'm not, like, crapping on American and American food. You guys have some amazing stuff, too. Don't get me wrong, but... You just can't compete with you the You can't source. make... Can't get a kielbasa like, an American supermarket unless it's straight from the source. Yeah. Or Polish pierogi. Like, in order for them to be Polish, like, a Polish person has to make them. And they have to be, like, the real deal. Which sandwich was your favorite? Out of all the three. <laughs> I Cause was, you didn't eat this one, so I don't know, man. <laughs> well, this one, I have a feeling I'm gonna love it anyway. <clears throat> but so far, that one. Really? I like that the one. The paprika. Yeah. Okay. This don't wrong. This is good. But for some reason, I like that a lot. Okay. Now, if so I would have put paprika, second, sprotki, sashi pomidoro, man. I mean, we'll see when it comes to this. This is just a mountain of food. I don't even know how to bite this without looking sus. Oh, no. This is my favorite. It goes this, the herring one, sardine one. Well then, if we're talking about sandwiches, that. But if I had to pick, like, out of the whole thing, that what you're eating right now? The beagles? It's great. Really? That's fantastic. All right, I'll make that for you every day then. Watch, I get jacked because of Polish food. <laughs> I swear to God, like, once I have, like, kids and get married and stuff, like, this is, like, literally what my kids are going to grow up eating. Because, like, I kind of grew up eating this because my parents are, like, really into healthy food and, like, organic, non-GMO, like, you know, grilled chicken breast, grilled fish. Like, no. I want my pierogi. I want my bigos. I want my kielbasa with all the conservative in it or whatever. Tam No, <clears throat> this, is, this is fantastic. I want my kids to look back and be like, think of childhood when they eat this. My grandma Nostalgia. used to make this stuff for me. And my uncles and my cousins, my two real cousins. Anytime I eat this, like this, the paprika shpenapka, I think of my two cousins, Agnieszka and Dorika, right away. This, I think of my grandma, perhaps in tomato sauce. And this sandwich, I think of like kindergarten, when they were teaching us how to make sandwiches for lunch. Pierogi, I just think of Poland. <laughs> and beagles, I think of my grandma here. Because she always makes good beagles. What that? What, mm -hmm. I like, what I like the most? My dad's mom. Yeah. That's weird. I like the one thing. That one? I mean, mm -hmm. I like it all. <clears throat> you guys have food a lot. And I'm a food kind of guy. I, I eat before, a lot. We got the flavor down to a science. Yeah. But leave a comment down below where what country we should hit next. We'll go to their mm -hmm. source of where their food, the best food is. And then let us know where to go, actually. What supermarkets are the best place to get specific foods? We're in North Jersey, New York City area. I'll travel so to Jersey. Keep country. that in mind. <laughs> Go to Chicago, please. What? I mean, I'm always down for a trip. I ran out of things to eat with. Here, you look like you need sour cream for a pierogi. I'm gonna gain all the weight that I lost. Be right back. No, you won't because you're working out. Hey, and that okay? Seriously? No. You're mm. better off eating this than like Chipotle. You know? 100%. The difference between this and that, I've eaten a lot of food and I don't feel bloated. I feel full. Mm -hmm. I think we eat the same amount. Guys, I said this before, oh I'll say it again. She is the only person that I can eat more than me and be like, I'm still hungry. I can eat, dude. I'm looking at the perk and I'm like, are you going to have that? Because <laughs> I kind of want to. Eat it. I'm going to bite. Okay. Put it this way, it's clean. Wow. That was fantastic. I could eat that every day for the rest of my life. Straight up. I think I need more liquid in my body. I'll buy more soda for you. Sarah. Wait, you know Sarah? 
Who's Sarah? <laughs> you told me no one's Sarah. Hmm? <laughs> you see how I look right into the camera? What? <laughs> as soon as you said that, I was like... YouTube knows. Knows what? Hmm? Knows what? No, I'm just joking. It was a joke. Oh. <laughs> He's got so defensive. <laughs> I can't believe I just ate this whole plate of food. I know. How is this so good? I think I like voicing over my videos better. Yeah, because you have complete control. And you <laughs> cut me out. <laughs> no, I she don't. She only voices over because I say some bad things. No.